Welcome to another Red Hat Consulting Whiteboard video. I'm James, a senior PaaS consultant with Red Hat Consulting. And I'm Brian, a senior consultant in container infrastructure at Red Hat Consulting. Today we're going to be talking about functions as a service on OpenShift, also known as OpenShift Cloud Functions. It's Red Hat's answer to the current trend towards serverless computing architecture. So James, maybe you can talk to us about what functions as a service are exactly. So Brian, functions as a service are a lightweight way to define only the function you need uh, to perform an action instead of having to worry about provisioning an entire application to uh, provide a service or to perform events based on um, a messaging queue, for example, or a REST endpoint. And I'm not limited to just one language, am I? Not in OpenShift Cloud Functions. You actually can use Java or Python or Go or even PHP, JavaScript, many other languages. Um, whatever your company already has expertise in. Do you want to talk about an uh, easy way to get uh, OpenShift cloud functions going on, say, a, an existing eight-node OpenShift cluster? Yeah, so it's just like with any other OpenShift application. You would create a project for OpenWhisk and then use the provided template which, with the OC create command, which will then create all of the OpenShift primitives that you need for OpenWhisk to run. From there, you just write your functions and deploy them as normal. I see. So if we wanted to talk about a simple example of a way to use functions as a service, you might have a function that monitors your Red Hat JBoss AMQ messaging queue for events, and based on those types of events, trigger a REST API call to your uh, chat service, such as Slack or Rocket Chat or whatever your company may use, so that your team can be notified of important alerts. Okay, so how does my function know about the AMQ event? So you would define your function, of course, and then the trigger and rules, which um, will define how it monitors the AMQ messaging queue. And based on that, it would trigger your function with the defined parameters where you can then act on them. Okay, and then another use case might be where we have a authentication event that happens and the function would then pull the user information from the database and send it off to uh, our email provider. And that will save our development and operations teams from needing to inform our customer success teams about new customers or potential customers. Right, that's a great example of a use case for OpenShift cloud functions. And there are many more people can um, think of. And that's why serverless is such a hot topic right now and, and why we're offering OpenShift cloud functions. And to learn more about serverless architecture and functions as a service, reach out to your Red Hat account executive or go to redhat.com services to find out how consulting and training services can work with you.